Okie Koki guys. So today I'm gonna to be playing a bit of Last Epoch. Um so I've played a fair bit of it so far, about thirty hours. Um and so far I've got the Acolyte, Rogue, Primarist, and Sentinel all up to chapter four, which is where you unlock your masteries. I think it's about halfway through the game. So what I figured I'd do is I would since the final class I have to make is the mage, I figured I'd make a mage with you guys um, and just show you, you know, just do a playthrough essentially, showing how to quickly get through it. Um, and yeah, just show you a few things that I've picked up along the way. So, without any further ado, let's choose our mage. Um, I'm going to choose uh, this name, uh, the name of my very first uh, priest when I was playing World of Warcraft. So, there's a mage, and let's jump straight in. I am a mage, raised in the followers of Rome, and served in their holy army. I became one of the founders. I was upon an appointment to do my share of time and construction. This was followed to woo rebellion and obtain the dark arts. In my exile, my guilt over her fate drove me to my new calling. I yearned for higher purpose and heights, only to hear that Warren was haunted by a shadow beyond. Now I travel back to Rome, determined to find the truth. So we, we do get some nice um, little intro videos when we log into each of the different classes, or when we create each of the different classes. You can find all those videos on my channel. Uh, I've been up for quite a bit. So I haven't actually played the mage at all. So this is going to be uh, a first playthrough. So I haven't even looked at any of the skills, to be honest. Cool. We get to zap people. It's going to be cool. Let's get on with it then. I won't need any of that stuff. Nice, that's nice. That's nice and quick. Cool. Oh. Is pretty, pretty strong to be fair. I like the fact that it's got a nice quick cooldown. It does a fair bit of damage as well to be fair. Fireball. Nice fireball. Cool. Let's try this out then. Is that a fireball going in a straight line? Until it hits something. Hmm. So I could fire that all the way up there. Oh. Nice. Cool. Right. So this isn't going to be a farming run. I'm going to try and push through as quickly as I can. Which, by the looks of his abilities, uh, the, the major's abilities, that shouldn't take too long. <laughs> Now, I do have some stuff already built up, um, which this character can tap into from doing other run-throughs. So you'll notice that as uh, as you do your playthroughs, you will <laughs> essentially end up storing some stuff. Um, fire damage, melee crit, bah. And I'm not really going to bother too much dipping into this stuff. I mean, I will when I have the opportunity, but I'm not going to spend time sitting in min-maxing. Um, 
do, 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 just look and see if there's anything obvious that I could use. I could make use of that because it's got extra spell damage on it. So yeah, we'll jump on that. Um, anything else? We've got some gloves which have increased intelligence on, which is all good. Mana vitality. So vitality is health health regen. Eh, it's not the worst that it could be. Anything else we can use there? We've got ring. Damage over time. Well, I presume I'm probably going to get some sort of burn, so I might as well chuck that on. And I'm using fire damage, so I'm probably going to get a burn somewhere. Oh. Okie kokey. Uh, belts. Lightning damage. Yeah, might as well. Might as well. Um. Uh, Fire damage chance to ignite on hit. Nice, we'll take that. Actually, that being said, I've got this over here. Crit strike if you have not dealt a crit recently. That'd be quite nice. Why not? All of this stuff's only going to get sold if I don't use it now anyway. Uh, yep, we'll use that. And there's another ring here. Health healing. Intelligence. Got minion damage, so I'm not overly fond of the minion damage because I don't know about minions. Uh, chance for stun and elemental damage, yeah, why not? Just chuck that on. That'll do. Let's crack on. Okay, okay. Cool. Nice. <laughs> this shouldn't take long at all. So, the reason I know where I'm going is because I'm just watching the map up here. Oh, there's a lot of AoE I need to do here. I just imagine I get some sort of AoE soon. Uh, do, 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 do. That chance the stun already coming into play. That's what we like to see. Oh, apparently I missed that. <laughs> Level three, nice. Sap freeze. What's this? Freeze enemies and a cone in front of you. Oh, that'd be quite nice. Means I can jump away. Uh, right, what have we got in? Right, so, on. Mm -hmm. so one thing that I would suggest is that if you're going through this as a new player, don't worry too much about where you put everything. Um, you can always change it later. And it doesn't cost a lot either. Health, mana, increased fire, increased cold, increased lightning. Cool. Intelligence, fire resistance, lightning resistance. Uh, so we've got percentage damage increase, or we've got flat damage increase with intelligence. Yeah, yeah let's roll with that. Like I say, don't worry too much about what you put stuff in. Um, purely because you can change it so easily in the future. Do, 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 and you will especially change it when you get your masteries. Zap. <laughs> oh. Oh, nice stun down. Uh, stunning there. That was good. A stunning display. <laughs> cool. Let's kill these guys off. Nice. Grab this. Yeah, so, I mean, like I said, I've played through this a couple of times. So I'm not really going to pay too much attention to the uh, story. Um, that and 
and if you're going to play through this for the very first time, I'll leave that as a mystery for you, <laughs> so that you can see the story for yourself firsthand, rather than having it spoiled by me. Ooh, apparently I missed that. Love to see it. Cool. I'm not going to worry too much about loot either, um, purely because, well, you saw what I've got in my chest. This guy's pretty strong. I need to try out my cone. So can I get two of them? Do you want to come join the fray? How big is this cone? Whoa, okay. That cone is pretty big. Fair. Well, freaking out. <laughs> Ooh, hello there, good sir. Goodbye, good sir. Oh, is it because he died while frozen? He's still got frozen wings. Ha! Bug report. Let's do this passive quickly. And we can specialize. Ooh, what we got? Elemental Nova. Cast a Nova around you that deals fire, cold, and lightning damage. Oh, that's quite nice. So, what you'll also find is that you don't always need um, targets to fire off your abilities. Zap, fire, cone of cold. Yeah, snap freeze. Elemental Nova. Ooh, is that all of them? All types of Elemental Nova that you have enabled have an equal chance to be cast. Interesting. Problem is that requires everyone to be, be quite close. Now, I, I know that I've got a specialization point, but I want to see what this does. <laughs> One tip that I will give to you, if you're going through the game for the very first time, AoE is absolutely redonkulous. Because as you're going through, you'll get big groups like this. Being able to just deal with them instantly, all in one, is the most ludicrous thing in the world. So look, boom, boom. So, based on that, that is actually quite crazy. So, uh, so I've just pressed S, just to bring up my, my skills and specializations. Oh, and I should also say P is for your passives. So we're just gonna specialize a skill. So I, that elemental nova is actually quite ludicrous, and I know the power of AoE as we're leveling up through the first four chapters, so I am going to specialise in my nova without even looking at it. Not because I'm a massive troll, but firstly, you can actually respec. So up here, you've got your respec, so you can either remove points that you've already assigned, or you can just despecialise the skill. But I do know that this is going to be very useful. So I would imagine that you've probably got fire, ice, uh, electricity. What's this one? Oh, craziness. What's this? Arcana. Uh, Elton Nova deals more elemental damage and has a significantly large area effect. More damage, more area, win-win. And then we'll choose a special, you know, which, which element to specialize in a bit later. Do, 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 do. Grab the gold. Not that we're really going to need it all that much. Um, I know that I don't need to go over there. Because my minimap tells me I've got a... Boop. Oh, wrong one. I want to spam my R. Keep spamming that R. And obviously, if I'm a one-on-one, -on -one, I'm just going to use my single target abilities. If only I could land them on target. Oh wow, that freeze does work on him. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> You'll find quite often that these bosses will have fairly standard attack patterns. Oh, there's me trying to freeze him, and it was on cooldown. So yeah, they do have fairly standard attack patterns, so you can just dodge fairly easily. Cool. And that, my friends, is the end of chapter one. I'm going to grab this shard and take the portal. Chapter one is done. So that shouldn't have taken too long. Um, and I should imagine that's probably only 20 minutes or so, if that. Um, but yeah.
right, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, I'm going to carry on playing, but I'm going to cut this video now. I'm going to do each chapter in its own section because people get bored if they just have an hour long video to watch through straight. Um, but obviously, if you've liked it, you know, if, if you've enjoyed the content, please do, you know, feel free to leave a like, subscribe, comment, all those niceties. Also, follow the uh, community links in the description below. Um, but other than that, I will catch you on the next episode, which will be chapter two. Cheers, guys. Catch you later. Goodbye.